back and today we're going to talk about output gaps and I really want to focus on recessionary gaps in t today's video. So this is recessionary gap and we're familiar with the graph, we're familiar with the output being less than the equilibrium output. Now let's get right into it. So the long run options, we know right away that there's a natural uh, long run option to fix this and it is by doing nothing and by doing nothing uh, our factor prices fall. Our aggregate supply moves right, AS right, from AS1 to AS2. So then our AS moves right to AS2. And in addition to this, price falls. Uh, when price falls, then money demand also falls because we need less money to enjoy the same price. And uh, interest rate falls and we all know this uh, generally for EMP, EFP, uh, CFP and CMP uh, they always move in the same direction and by the same direction I mean price, money demand and interest rate and uh, I explained more about this in my in one of my past videos I think it was monetary policy and output and I might put a link to this if I don't forget at the end of the video and yeah so this is the natural uh, way of uh, fixing this recessionary gap now the other way is doing a expansionary fiscal policy and this is when uh, we know that government spending goes up or or taxes go down and this leads to the following to happen. This leads to the aggregate demand to move right and uh, 81 moves to 82, 82. And here we just have to draw this purple line to represent 82. This will be 82. And from the graph, we can see that the following happens price rose and we, this is all we need to know that when the price rose that the money demand also rose and that the money when the money demand also rises then also the interest rate rises and we can do a more in-depth analysis that's really optional when interest rate rises that means that private spending goes down because uh, things get more expensive so what we spend goes down and consumption goes down and also investment goes down investment goes down or an investment was IO who wants to invest when you have to pay such a big interest right and last but not least the last option we have is uh, EMP expansionary monetary policy and I'm sure you remember that this happens in expansionary monetary policy. Either interest rate goes down or the money supply goes down. Or the money supply goes up, not down. And this happens. The bank would uh, do the following. They would decrease their interest rate. And then this causes a... Uh, our output to rise and the reaction to the bank's actions reaction the reaction would be that well interest rate went up down and then uh then our price would go up because people would be spending uh, when there's low interest it's pretty much like low taxes and we don't have to when we don't have to pay taxes then of course we would spend and when we keep on spending then the price goes up and when price goes up then our money demand goes up and when our money demand goes up we know that these three are always moving in the same direction the the interest goes up the interest rate goes up and the y goes down uh 80 moves right like it did for expansionary monetary policy 81 to 82 and we can we can see how these di these moves in uh, one of my past videos the uh, monetary policy 
or an output and you should really check that out if you forgot but overall the overall effect to the economy is uh, that the overall effect to the economy is that interest falls y increases from y to y star and how do I know overall well this is just a general fact that you need to remember and the general fact is that the bank always beats the reaction the bank will always uh, win because yeah it just does because there's not enough people to make such a strong reaction I guess but yeah I was taught that the bank always win in the, in the overall ending so pretty much overall overall uh, effect is the same as what the banks intended and that is really all you need to know for this recessionary gap and this video in the next video I would do the the inflationary gap and you should stay tuned for that and don't forget to please rate comment and subscribe it would really help